We must warn you, this video is not for the faint of heart or easily scared. For this video, we must delve a little darker. We must delve into the darkness of Willy Wonka and consider a disturbing theory. A theory about the candy maker's dark origins and often disturbing behavior. On the surface, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory is about a genius candy maker who makes all sorts of delicious treats and candies. But what if it was all just a bit more sinister? What if Willy Wonka made a deal with the devil and sold his soul to become the greatest candy maker of all time? The first reason to believe Wonka made a deal with the devil is his incredible candy making abilities and the wealth and fame it brought. It is said that Willy Wonka was the most amazing, the most fantastic, the most extraordinary chocolate maker the world has ever seen. He's a magician with chocolate. He can make anything, anything he wants. But oddly, it is never explained how he became so talented. We are led to believe it's a supernatural gift that he possesses. Could he have gained these gifts by striking a deal with the devil? A deal with the devil is a pact between a person and Satan, or a lesser demon. The person offers their soul in exchange for diabolical favors. Those favors vary, but tend to include knowledge, wealth, fame, or power. One of the famous accounts of a deal with the devil is the German story of Faust from around the 1500s. Faust was a scholar who became depressed with his life and eventually struck a bargain with the devil. Faust received magical powers for a set number of years, but in exchange, the devil would claim his soul and he would be eternally enslaved. What if Wonka gained his incredible knowledge for candy making by striking a similar bargain, the darkest bargain of all, a bargain with the devil, and in so achieved incredible wealth, fame, and power? The wealth and power to build the greatest chocolate factory the world had ever seen and the fame that attracted everyone to this factory. But could this deal with the devil have left the candy maker a broken man who was truly disturbed? The second reason to believe Wonka made a pact with Satan was his dark and disturbing behavior. Wonka is a bit darker in the movie than he is in the book. But it is important to understand, Roald Dahl, the author of the book, also wrote the screenplay for the movie, and that he certainly played a big role in many of the hidden clues we are about to discuss. Let's first examine Wonka's strange behavior by looking at the infamous tunnel scene. As the group enters the tunnel, there are flashing red lights, and it's both disorienting and frightening. They also see images of what appears to be their greatest fears. What does this remind you of? possibly of entering hell or some dark underworld? In Greek mythology, dead souls traveled by boat across the river of Styx to Hades. Charon, or Wonka in this case, was the mythical character who ferried the souls. Could this all just be coincidence? Possibly. Or it might be a hidden and darker message. What is most scary of all are the words Wonka sings during the boat ride. Here are some of the lines. Not a speck of light is showing, so the danger must be growing. Are the fires of hell a-glowing? Is the grizzly reaper mowing? He mentions hell and the reaper? A grim reaper is a dark force that causes a person's death and comes to collect their soul. Was Willy Wonka secretly warning everyone that his time was up and the devil would soon capture his soul? Later in the movie, there's another clue that Wonka sold his soul to the devil. As Charlie and Grandpa Joe enter Wonka's office, they discover something truly unsettling. Everything has been cut right in half. It is unexplained as to why or how this happened, and we are left puzzled. But what if this was another hidden message to something very chilling? A clue that the candy maker sold his soul and lost a part of himself. Half of himself. And in his despair, he cut everything in half to symbolize this. And if Wonka did sell his soul, 
you would have needed a way to get it back. Which brings us to the darkest part of the theory, the competition. The third reason to believe Wonka made a bargain with the devil was the competition and how he sacrificed the children to get his soul back. It's often believed that a person who makes a pact with the Dark Prince also promises the demon to kill children or consecrate them. When the children first enter the factory, Wonka forces them to sign a large contract. Towards the bottom of the contract, the writing becomes so small it's impossible to read the words. Scarily, the kids have no idea what they're signing or what they're truly getting themselves into. This is eerily similar to the contract one signs with the devil. There is always a catch and hidden details. During the competition, every child suffered greatly. Augustus is sucked up a pipe. Violet becomes a giant blueberry. Veruca is thrown into a garbage chute. And Mike was shrunk into a tiny person. Although none of the kids died, it is well known that the devil enjoys causing suffering and pain, even more so than causing one's death. One might assume Wonka couldn't have known the kids would have such horrible accidents, but if you only look closer, the scary truth is revealed. During the boat ride, there was only room for eight contestants, not the ten they started with, and later on, the vehicle only had room for four. It appears this was all part of Wonka's diabolical plan from the start. Now you may be thinking, hold on, what about Charlie? He never suffered like the other kids. But that brings us to the final and most frightening point. If this theory is true, Charlie would have suffered the worst fate of all. If Wonka was to ever get his soul back, he would need to sacrifice another. But not just any soul would do, it had to be a pure one. For the devil desires pure souls, most of all. And who was more pure than poor Charlie Bucket? At the end of the movie, Wonka is upset and depressed because he found out Charlie cheated. He freaks out and yells at the boy. But what if Wonka wasn't angry about Charlie losing the competition? What if he was truly upset because this meant Charlie was no longer pure and he wouldn't be able to trade the boy's soul to save his own? Charlie ends up returning the everlasting gobstopper and proves he is indeed still pure. Wonka is overjoyed by this because the deal is complete and he will get his soul back in exchange for the devil taking Charlie's. Hold on a minute, you say. Charlie never signed a deal with the devil? But you're forgetting one small detail. You forgot the contract Charlie signed earlier. It was all right there, in fine print. <laughs> So there you have it guys, a dark theory about Willy Wonka selling his soul to the devil in exchange for becoming the greatest candy maker of all time. What do you guys think? Did we miss anything else that may support this theory? Let us know if you like dark theory videos, or if it's a little too dark for your taste. If you do like them, please subscribe for more videos like this. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next time. Not a speck of light is showing, so the danger must be growing. Are the fires of hell a-glowing? Is the grizzly reaper mowing? Yes!